Stressed out? Can't afford to buy food or heat the house due to too much debt? We don't care! This is loads of debt. We want you to have more debt. Now we'll start off with a smaller loan, but pretty soon you'll be choking in debt. Now, we don't care if you can afford to pay it back or not. So long as we get our money back, we don't care. You might end up with several loans from one company, or you might end up with loans from lots of companies. Either way, we're going to be giving you money until you struggle to pay us to survive. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's look at those figures. Here we have one of our customers, a single mother with disabled children, who's paying off loads of debt to loads of different companies, and she's hardly any money left to live. So, let's hear from some of our unhappy customers. I've got three draft up loans on, two high purchase loans on, some what I can't afford at the moment. So I'll get up to about 15 loans and some I can't really afford to pay. Fantastic! Right, in my, when I first got the loan, I was it was hundred for hundred pounds and I was paying back five pounds a week. In the end I had three or four loans and I was paying back fifty pounds a week. Wow! They come to you to ask if you want a loan, then they give you a loan and they push another one onto you before you've even got one finished. Fantastic. Um, I was juggling a lot of debts in the end. When I paid three quarters of them, I was didn't have enough money left for food. Debtorama! It's been very difficult because I'm struggling to feed the family properly and uh, put the gas on to keep us warm. Last week we had no gas on and we were cold. Winning! This is what the OFT says. An assessment of affordability should be more than solely assessing the likelihood of the borrower being able to repay the credit in question. Well, all I solely care about is how much money I can squeeze out of them. Hey, let's hear from one of our agents. You would tend to find that agents really only cared if they got paid because, you know, they were self-employed. We didn't care whether customers could afford to pay their gas, electric or anything else, whether they could feed themselves. As long as we got paid, uh, I wasn't bothered. So, if you want to be drowning in debt, contact Loads of Debt now. High cost lenders are creating a tidal wave of misery by lending money irresponsibly to the most vulnerable and excluded people in the UK. It's time for action. We demand that the following steps are taken. 1. All high-cost lenders should be required to register details of their agreements on a real-time database. This should be used to check borrowers' income level and details of any other loans they have already taken out. Two. High-cost lenders should never lend money to people if it would require the borrower to use more than one-third of their gross income to repay high-cost loans. Lenders who break these rules should have their agreements quashed and should lose their licences. Follow this link to support our demands you can help to make lenders act more responsibly.